Yeah. Right then, let's uh, welcome everyone. Uh, episode 15 of the last week's um, little escapade of me not hitting the streaming button. I hope I did it this time. <laughs> really? Yeah, I only yeah, recorded yeah, I it. I didn't stream it. So, a oh. short recap for all those <laughs> who need it. Um, Oct and Feldrill jumped through a teleportation between plans at Grandma Murphy's. They are on the way to the guild to report on what is going on, that the airship is stolen, that who is all captive, and all the intel they have gathered. Yamir is currently held in the barracks uh, over at Eastwood, uh, together with Corvo and at least four other soldiers from the guild, as far as you know. And Milo and Tokan um, have made their way with the help of a few uh, merchant guards uh, to Eastwood. They delivered some cargo and have found some friends in the dark to help them um, prison break Yamir and fellow friends out of the prison. They um, had a run with the assassin uh, early in the morning hours and I have used that time now to strategize on how to get Yamir out of the prison, which resulted in Nick, one of the guards, um, merchant guards, to go and cause a distraction. And the rest of the team is already more or less surrounding the barracks, waiting for Nick's distraction to kick in. So let's see what Nick is doing. I suppose he'll walk right up to the barn and look around. Look around. See if there's like people around the around gates. It's the, the dead of night, so assuming that he can e even see if there are people around, but yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, a quick reminder also, it is raining still, uh, or light rain at least. Uh, let's put it at like 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, you don't see anybody around. You do not hear any noises from the barn either, so you're sure that there is no livestock within the barn. So yeah, he'll go to the door and try to open it. The door is, of course, locked. Well, the Nick has a club, so he can either leverage the lock open or... Just okay, the door give me an attack roll for your club. I actually didn't add the club, so I'm going to use the morning star for now. <laughs> use the morning star! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, the lock uh, breaks off the door and you can open the barn door. And then he'll head inside and see if there's like... I'm back. Okay, back. Uh, hey, or something here. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's in there. There's like a lot of sheep goods. There's like some, some hay, some wood, um, a lot of sheep stuff. <laughs> Non-expensive items. A lot of very flammable stuff. You mean? No, that would be expensive. Oil is expensive, so there's no oil. It's. What do you mean? Wood and hay is very Psst. flammable, though. It's not as if it's oil. Anyhow, it is flammable, and it's dry inside. I didn't ask if it was oil. <laughs> so yeah, Nick he, he could gather some uh, stuff, uh, like hay and uh, wood chips and stuff, and he'll use his dinner box to light it up. Okay, so you light, light it up. Yeah. And then he's gonna nurse the fire for a while before he'll, like, uh, so it's a big fire before he'll throw it into the hay, and hopefully no one sees the light before he does that. Okay, nobody catches him. Um, you could leave the place if you want to. Yeah, once it lights, it, so it's not gonna like, so it's gonna fire up really good. And he'll like spread the fire around a bit, so it, multiple points. Yeah, it takes a minute to really start blazing. So let's see where I place you guys. Now after that, Nick will leave uh, the barn and then move away a good little, so he can see if people have start showing up. So. Mm-hmm. I already dropped you. I think most of you don't see anything, right? It's just black. I see everything. I see, every I see everything. You see everything. I see, Good. I see a map. You see a map. Well, then let's do it this way. You see a no, map. I see nothing. No, Good. I see, nothing, no. <laughs> that, I see a black screen. That's the building that <laughs> you were. At. I only see an handsome Paul <laughs> Who's Why this? Who's that guy? Oh, you just dropped yourself onto it. I just dropped myself in now. Mm hmm. Just put yourselves where you wanted to assault the building from. Do you edit this token, or is it just a default? Uh, you and Milo have the same token, just uh, mirror image of each other. Okay. 
Nice. By Twins. the way, just so you know, I have a random mine in front of me of black. Yeah. In front of Asgrin. Sorry? Like, it's the skinniest little line of black right in front of Asgrin's face. Every time I move, it's like as if his vision's not um, 100% around move him. him. Move him somewhere. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. It load again. Nope, for my side it looks okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You want to add me to the map as well so I can see? It's yeah, it depends on where you guys want to station yourselves. I mean, this is the building. This side. You're all coming from this side, okay. Tokan, are you with them on that side too? Let's see, Amir is inside, <coughs> Token is there, Milo's there, Fadro is not there, the rest of the people should be there. No, Ice isn't there. Checking some real quick. Okay, yeah. so Milo has no eyes. vision right now. Where's Milo? Nope. No. Right there. He's right behind. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, in the distance, a house that's catching a lot of fire, and the rain stops. Uh, it's still overcast. And you hear screams from the village, like, FIRE! FIRE! And people start running around. Sadly, the guards are not really responding to that. Of course they are. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. <laughs> I'm quickly gonna just... I'm just pulling up the data on the... Can you just pull up the fucking drought poison? Um... I wouldn't allow you to go into the building through the windows, if you locate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder where they are. Oh, DC <laughs> <laughs> I think most people should be. Oh, uh, besides Ice, Ice doesn't see anything because he's not a night person. Uh, Milo, Milo doesn't. Milo. Yeah. yeah. Alright, okay. so Nick came and met us back over here. Let me just assure you that down th south and then to the left you can see mm -hmm. stuff. There's light inside the house. Right. Um, um. I'll just, mm, uh, yeah, I'll just whisper over Windle. Point back to where lights coming out from the building. My looking beacon in a short arse. Yeah, Milo can short see that light. yeah, Milo's gonna actually check really quick. Okay. Uh, do mm -hmm. I need to roll anything, or can you just... Well, I mean, you're not stealthed. Did you? I'm I mean... pretty sure we're all trying to be sneaky, so should we just roll yeah. stealth, sir? <laughs> just just, just warning you. Should... <laughs> do you want us to roll stealth? Yeah, yes or no? I mean, you're not stealthed. That's what I said. Good, I am stealthed. Please stealth. Well... I need to... Mine is one. pretty uh, There stealth. we go. Yeah. It's a bit... I think in Milo's case, right now, it just looks like I can't see them, so they can't see me. We... In my other game, okay, I failed a stealth roll and then crit success, or sorry, legendary uh, persuasion roll, and told the guards he was invisible. And they believed him. <laughs> <laughs> the, glory, the glory of crit rolls. <laughs> He was right. a too. You guys have that sort of luck. So, Milo, you uh, <laughs> sneak around, you look into what appears to be a long corridor. You see lights, you see benches, you don't see any guards. You can't see me. The next room is My also empty. Alright, Milo's gonna look at the group really quick, and he's gonna look especially at Tokon, and he's gonna <laughs> say, oh, I'm, God. I'm about to sneak in, can I get help? Oh look, All right. you have <coughs> a new oh, yeah. visitor. That's a good point. So can I just kind of frown and then nod? If I make you invisible, you can pretty much have the run of the place. We make so you make no sound. Us, please. No, oh, I'm sorry. I need to to look up something. As, as just kind of looks around at the group. And he just kind of slowly nods his head, as in agreeing with this plan as of right now. And then he looks over at his brother to see uh, what he thinks. 
we make so he make no sound. Well, you make. That window. Uh, at that point, uh, Asgren's gonna use a couple key points and uh, cast silence on starting around here. I think it gets 20 foot radius, so. Is it 20 foot radius? I think so. Where? Casting it where? Some right. Here. Some over there, right? You so. choose within range here. So, yeah, he just cast it. Originating there, so the entire area is going to kind of be silent. I think you yeah. could like keep this. Make sure it doesn't touch me, because I need my voice to cast spells. It does. <laughs> right now, at least. <laughs> You're fine. Great, you need to come over here then, Milo. Let me let me touch you up. Um <laughs> Oh wow. Hey. The man. When Tokon starts doing this, Milo's like, oh easy. I I don't swing both. Tokon kinda of shakes his head. I will I'll believe that when I see evidence he swings from one side as you know he's fucked you over every time you've tried to get laid uh <laughs> cast invisibility and you are completely invisible now as long oh. as he does not attack anything yep and Milo's retort by the way he will find that he speaks but his voice makes no sound because he's been in the area of effect oh yeah <laughs> 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 well so you're I'll just see him moving his mouth, and you're like, what in the world? Nope. Oh, I'll look at the the the, the, uh, the right. job. So can Milo really climb in, or are you gonna that. make me roll? Uh, to sneak in there. Yes. Of course, you need to roll at least sleight of hand to see if you can open the window and sneak Jimmy in. It. Jimmy, it. I mean, it sneak. makes no sound. Oh, the window doesn't make sound. Okay, well it. then, do whatever you want to do it's to the window. It's within the area of the silence, so it can't make any sound. True. Then just open the window. Yeah, so Milo just climbs in to see mm -hmm. what he sees first. Milo, you see what you see. Uh, empty corridor ahead and down south there is a guard. Yeah, that one. <laughs> right. But you're you are totally one. invisible, so you're fine. Yes. Make, makes me happy. You're getting closer to him though. Can Milo see if this door, like, can Milo see is the door, like, locked? In Which front one? Of me? The front and. No, it's not locked. You do remember, um, cast me intelligence. Cast me intelligence. Roll me intelligence. <laughs> I would like to cast <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Lovely spells I haven't used yet. Milo, uh, after they've captured you the day before and thrown you, oh, actually two nights ago, and thrown you into jail, uh, you don't recall much of the layout of the other barracks, but you feel it's similar, and you're certain that behind that door, there should be some prison cells. Okay, so Milo's gonna hold off on doing that, because obviously the guard's gonna notice if that door opens. Mm-hmm. So you're back on he's the main gonna, corridor? Yeah, he's gonna go and check uh, other parts now, now as well. Uh, roll me perception. While well, you pass by that door. Enjoy the invisibility, Milo. Use it to full advantage, cause scout the whole thing. Oh, way he's out. definitely enjoying Even it. Even though we've. You, already seen it. you hear voices coming from behind this door. Multiple Can I tell voices. What kind of voices. Sorry? Does it sound like you're running the mill guards, or do I notice if it's like... It sounds like guards authority? talking to somebody. Okay. Another perception? Um. Yeah, 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 perception, sorry. <laughs> While Milo's doing this, are the people outside doing anything? Milo, oh, no. you no, hear nothing through, from yeah. the other... Room. It uh, could be empty. Point of origin of the silence, by okay. the way. Somewhere um, here. Okay, because just remember, you're also deafened whilst inside that. Yeah, yeah. he so can't. Oh, he can't actually inside. hear anything. Yeah. Milo can't. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And the guards can't hear each other either. Like the silence hits everything. If they're in range of that twenty feet. Yeah. Oh, if that is the case, then there would be the alarm out right now. 
because they they walked into this room talking to their boss. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh, Alice is gonna cast dancing lights to make some lights appear to the side of uh, the guard he sees right there, and hopefully have him turn his head. He will motion over as to get over here and into the window. Does the guard turn his head? Of course, it turns his head. It's like, what the hell is that? And I quickly <laughs> slip it to the window. Which one? This one that Milo got in through before. Uh, that Milo, both got we the Milo went in this oh, one. By the oh, way, sorry. Silence, but it's silence, still in silence, silence, silence as well. Silence is a, a ten minute concentration, so you could have just you could drop the silence. I could. Mm. I'll do that. Yep. It's okay. So I'd like to open the window. It's still open. Okay, good. I'm getting in. Oh, that I'm one. Okay. <clears throat> But remember, this I, one there is a there is a wall oh, here. I thought there was no wall. My bad. No, uh, those. So this is the one that there was no wall. Wait, did you? be in. I'll be hidden here then. There is dynamic light on there at that wall, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, yeah, yeah. I just didn't. Okay. They wasn't playing a bit of a trick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I walk in. Uh, are you close enough? Are you stealthed? Yeah. Yes, no, I rolled, stealth. and it's in there. Besides, yeah, he does not see you. Right yeah, he now. doesn't see you. So I'm gonna calmly take out one of my kunai that's coated with drow poison and throw it into his, and hopefully walk up to him and stab him in the neck. Mm -hmm. Uh, Asgrin's also readying a dagger with poison just in case. Mhm. Mm uh, right. I should roll an attack for this, which I forgot to prepare. I'm bad. Yeah, you're bad. <laughs> wow. Rude. He is. If you forget that, is 14. that advantage because I'm hidden? I guess. Yes, please. Yeah. Still, oh, no, you well. don't wow. hit him. Jeez. Uh, uh, can Asgrin also just quickly throw his? Um, Since you're twins, yeah, make the dual attack. Make the attack at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some like. Oh, and I guess it would be motherfuckers um... here. I guess it'd be oh, advantage, yeah. huh? No, that one would hit. That check one hits. Well, I want, I want to check advantage anyway. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so you deal six points of damage to him. Yeah, and it has the draw poison on it as well. He didn't specify that. What does it do? Yeah, it did. Unconscious. He said. Um. Yeah. It, I've got it open next to me. I'm this po sure. uh, a creature subjected to this poison must succeed on a DC 13 Constitution saving throw or be poisoned for an hour. Oh, if yeah, it fails sure. by five or more, it's also unconscious. Dang it, I thought it would be less than that. It's not that good. He is unconscious. He rolled a five. Yes. Yes. Uh, so he rolls 2d4 hours, isn't it? Uh, for um, how long he's unconscious? No, for one, he's unconscious for an hour. Oh. Whilst he's poisoned, he's unconscious. So he's just unconscious for an hour. He just. Ah, <sighs> the twins got lucky on that uh, one. Asgrin looks at his brother and motions for him to get to the door while right. Asgreen goes back to the group to motion for them to quietly come in. I'm next to the door right now, right? Yeah, you're next to two doors. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll I'd like to try and open this one. Uh, Asgreen comes I've out got... and motions for Nick and Ice to right, I need to one. grab oh, the wait, right door. <sighs> Bloody hell, who ever designed doors like that? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm walking in. Uh, I hold a finger to my lips and uh, seeing people in the cage, I'm gonna start opening cells. Corv immediately steps back because he's like, shit, what is that thing? <laughs> I'll open the back one first so that people can get in. I'll hey, Yamir! You're finally my freed! Can do the other. Yeah. I'll raise a hand to Corvo and put my finger to my lips. Oh, I thought I'd need to pick a lock or something. Oh, yeah, you do. Um, Yamir can see 13? I'll, I'll, I'll lean past That's enough, yeah. put, put my finger to my. Uh, Lips for Ymir as well. You do notice that both of them, uh, besides having their regular traveling clothes on, they have no armor, they have no weapons, no nothing. Yeah. My Milo can talk without uh, become invisible, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, um, the sign is just off now, by the way. Yeah. So Milo has come up behind the group. Obviously, no one really notices. <laughs> He's, well, yeah. He comes I, up I, right... I would actually be aware. 
Well, he comes up next no, to the Tokon and just says, If we're gonna be dropping bodies, they need to be hidden afterwards. I took on a look and say, It's not my responsibility. Milo's already gone. He didn't even All right. listen for that. As. Um. Actually, you know what? Milo, give me perception. Milo perception? Milo perception. Oh no, Milo doesn't like perception. Milo needs to give you perception. Tokom is get out of the way. Oh, it's this double. Trial. Milo, you hear that a door is opening inside the building. Come somewhere from the left. Uh, Doc, can I search this guy's body? You can. Milo harshly. He is, he is unconscious, he's not dead. Yeah. Milo yeah, he can still search us. Hide the body and get inside. Okay. <laughs> Milo, they ignore uh, you. <laughs> or what? I investigation, if you want to search him. I'm trying to open this door as well to call those. Oh. My he don't find anything suspicious on him other than his regular clothing, weapons, and the keys for the already opened. Okay, oh. so yeah. Corvo and Yume are free. Cool. Sorry, Milo? Can Milo take one gold coin and toss it on the opposite side of the room? That would break your invisibility. Oh crap, it would, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take... an attack? Okay. Um... They move forward yeah. slowly. Uh, uh kind of rushes back and uh, whispers to Tokon, "Y'all need to get inside now." Hesgrin will take the body of this unconscious guard and start dragging him towards the cell, mm -hmm. or carry him uh, towards the cells. Door. Which one? Uh, just in the door. first one, though, I guess. Yeah, I'll just put him in the one with. No, I'll put him in the back one. Doc. Yes. The wording of invisibility is the spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell, not takes an action. But I think he would have been able to toss a coin. If he tosses a coin, I consider that an action. That he yeah, is. No. yeah, that doesn't, doesn't break a spell. It doesn't break the spell. The spell only breaks if the target attacks or casts a spell. Well then, Milo, you may throw one of your gold coins. Okay. Do I need to give you dex, I guess? I was supposed to it was a throwing weapon attack. Is it really though? Make or a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, yeah. Okay. If he was forcefully throwing the coin, but just pinging it is not really an attack. Mm. The coin lands in front of the guards. <laughs> Distracts them regardless? They look up and they're like... Mm. ALERT! Yeah, that's... Bad for you. Yeah, they uh, they're on uh, at that moment initiative. Oh, Everyone. Uh, well, we're stealth, so we'll still get a surprise right. Yeah, away. but you still need to do initiative. Damn! Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh baby. Oh gosh! Oh, look at them! Like ass. how bad they're rolling. <laughs> yes. Look at it. No wait, that's wait. not Milo's. Milo was the twice. Why did why did it roll? Did you click Asgrin or Milo? Asprin? He I might have clicked, on clicked one of them. You have to. Like, Esgrin does, no, 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 no. does have. You have to go to the sheet and to the options and there click that uh, show name of the roller. So you have to add that option on. And then, or then you have to change from the ass uh, to the chat. I think I rolled a, a 18. What do you mean the ICS doesn't screen. work? 18 on their screen and 21 on Milo, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ice didn't put Oh, the bros got right in. together! Amazing! It's perfect. Where is Ice? Ice, next time have your token selected, then click on initiative. Uh, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna add you to the turn order. 11. Uh, is that a door, by the way? Did we ever open that door? No, you never did, opened that like door. Opened it, didn't he? I didn't. So I whoever's not on the... the, one to the cells. Uh, doc, doc opened it back, so I think. Yeah. yeah. So whoever's not on the initiative order, it's their own fault, because I'm not going to go through and see who's not on there. Like Yamir, who's not on the initiative yeah. order. Hmm? Yamir, you are free, but you're not on the initiative yeah. order. What the fuck? Uh, nobody told me I was free, because... Uh, they freed you! I said I opened the cells. Yeah, they're both cells. You're, 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 you're half naked, them. but you're free. Did I at least loot a guard's sword to at least have something to hit people with? Uh, yeah, he's got a short sword, yeah, you can have that. Okay. Milo takes a shield and the spear. Wait, what? You mean Corvo? Corvo. Ah, Corvo. Sorry, yeah. Oh, I was like, uh, I did? 
cobbled it. <laughs> okay, like Milo, it's your turn. Um, since you alerted them. Yeah, Milo. The doctor broke my ACB at the moment. Ten. Wait, ten plus dex. your dex, yeah. Milo is going to take this opportunity and just chunk two daggers at the guard in front of him. Really? He's going to waste the invisibility? I mean, oh, okay. what else is he going to do? Let him do it, if he wants to. Get Violet? Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll have to but... kill anybody, but... Smith AC 12. And then I'm assuming he gets advantage on him? Mm-hmm. Because he's still hidden. Alright, and then only the first one gets sneak attack for the advantage. Okay, which one do you shoot at? The one with the axe. The one with the axe, okay, the one with the axe takes... 7... Oh wait, nine. minus 7... Minus 9... Uh, yeah, he drops to the floor, he's like, immediately out. And the other one... Takes, takes five. 5 points, he's still okay. fine, he just bloop, has oh, the dagger okay. stuck in, in his... In his uh, know, breastplate. Right? But <laughs> Ari said that only the first one, so. And you lose invisibility. And, and you're no longer something. invisible. And he sees you, and he, you know, yells out even more vicious, like. Uh, wait, what, what would he yell? Surprised. The invaders are here! <laughs> See, invaders, you're now officially invaders. The Germans <laughs> are coming! The Germans! That is not even a word they know. Uh, Milo, you wanna move? You wanna do anything? So um, Milo's well actually gonna here. stay right here in this corner. Right in the corner, okay. Twins, no. um, whoever the E guy is. Okay, yes, that would be me. Can the twins take their turn simultaneously? No. Mm. Well, it, it this is... happens simultaneously anyway. Yeah, six seconds, it's not really simultaneously. Just do your stuff. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, well. Do yes. your stuff. Right. It's hard enough to keep track of everyone, it's corner. harder to do it simultaneously. It's fine. Uh, so I'll just see this chump here. Mm -hmm. He will run up and attempt to... What will he attempt? Um, it's not too great up. You know, if we own all these yeah. guards, we'll get... He um, will... Use one key point to use to flurry your blows, and he's gonna attack, and then two, two more, fr do three unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. Give me two secs. Uh, yeah, all of them. Oh my god, <laughs> I think those hit. All of them hit, and uh, they all like attacks with your hand, right? Yeah, unarmed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you walk around the corner, see the guard, rush towards him, like, dit, 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 and he just topples to the ground. <laughs> He's immediately <laughs> out. I wanna. That's for how. I wanna take him, his head, knee it. Like bring it down. Oh yeah, for the last attack, basically. <laughs> throw him on the ground. Just okay. Toss him to the side. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> uh, you toss him on the bench, or? Uh, no, just on top of his body. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he lands awkwardly on top of the other, in the corner. Right. And I'm gonna get back and wait for more people to come up like idiots. Okay. Esgrin. Esgrin uh, just kind of runs forward. No one in hole. And um. At that point, he just kind of looks at Wait his brother, for and then looks around the corner, nods his head. And he's going to hold his action to um, throw a dagger at the first one he sees coming down the hall. Are you still hidden? Yeah, you're still hidden. Okay. Yeah. That would give you advantage on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mio. Mm -hmm. Seeing as I'm free, I'm going to move a bit forward to stretch my leg. Sure. Go over, get out of your way. So I end up right next to Tokam. <laughs> what a what a nice sight for your sore eyes. Finally see Tokam again. I'm happy to keep the king for me. Mm -hmm. You wanna stay so there? I just hold my action to defend Tokam if someone walks up to us. Okay. Oh, Tokam. Uh, I, seeing as no one else has uh, done it yet, I will kind of I'll budge past uh, Yamir and I'll pat him on the shoulder as I do. 
unless that takes an action. Uh, and I will try and open. Uh, Jimmy, is this or a raw test if this door is locked or not? I suppose this one. Uh, the yeah. uh, no, this one is unlocked. Well, I'm not opening it. Yeah, I know, but it's unlocked. All right, okay. Can I open it just a fraction? Fraction enough? Yep, that's fine. Being as I'm stealth. Okay. Budging past ice, I suppose. <laughs> Horse. Yeah, I'll uh. Look to you, Mir. After Yo. opening the door a bit, and then I'll point at the door. And I guess that's my my round. Doc. Okay. Six seconds. I know. Ice. What is Mr. Ice doing? He just said BRB. So oh, passes. okay. Then we pass his. Uh... He stands out in. He stands there in confusion. Yeah, <laughs> as always. He, he stands... doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. What's going on? I was like, oh my god, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, the two drivers just disappeared around the corner, and all we heard was. Oh uh, wait. By the way, I just realized Corvo's not in the. Um, I know. Turn order. I yeah, Corvo's not important. Corvo is. Uh... Yeah, dog. You, okay, you so that that guard came out. Order. So can Asgrin now use his thing to throw the dagger at him? Yeah, let me just put him on the right thing. So yeah, he just slams yeah, open yeah. the door. Throw your dagger. Advantage, right? Yes, please. Yes. Good. It hits him in the shoulder blade, uh, in the shoulder pad, like plop. Okay. Okay. So let's see. He's got a bit more movement left. Ah, he noticed where the attack comes from. So he. Let's see. Can that be a bit question. Does my draw oh. poison? Is it still on there? Or is it gone after that one use? It is Free use poison. poison. It's still on there. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. So he needs to make a save. DC thirteen constitution. Yeah. Yep. You and your draw saves. Drow, baby. Drow, drow. How many daggers do you have to throw around? I he... have uh, two, but I picked up yeah. the one from that guard. Okay, he rolled a ten. Okay, and so he's poisoned out. for an hour, but not unconscious. Good. Yeah. Poisoned is disadvantage on rolls. Ah, oh, don't worry, I know what poison does. Yeah, yeah no, it I'm, is. I'm checking for it's me. It's really good. Do you want to get poisoned? Uh... It's disadvantage on pretty much everything. Oh shit, where's nice. my pages? It is. Poison, disadvantage on attack and ability rolls. Whoa, wow, well, okay. So uh, like... Not on saves? Damn. No, yeah, not on saves. saves. Well, it's everything except saves then. So, yeah. now yeah, the Corvo. guards are coming out. Right, let's see. Let me just open that door. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, did we not get a surprise round on them first? We or did. was that only on the two? You already spent your surprise on them. You dropped your surprise the moment you threw a coin and that landed at their feet. But they tend to be less surprised when someone shots art, 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 art. First of all, it gives the surprise. Alright, right, I was just wondering. Okay, sorry. Two back. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, he can see Milo. No, he can't because there's a freaking door in his way. Ah. That's fine. So, they're all getting ready. They're like, the moment they see anybody that they can shoot or attack, they'll do that. That's that for him. Corvo is... staying behind well, ice. The door, so you saw me. That's good. The door. Hmm? I pointed to the door when Ymir was there, so Corvo probably saw me pointing to the door. Yeah, yeah. so he stays ready next to ice, close to the door. Milo. Cool. Milo, once again, uh, he's like... <laughs> what a <laughs> door! <laughs> Milo's just gonna kinda come forward a little bit and throw two daggers at this guard as well. Uh, yeah. He doesn't get sneak attack, obviously, but. No. Ooh, None of your daggers. None of. Oh, that's mm. a 25 then. Oh, yeah, the 25, yeah, so 5 damage. The, excuse me? The 25 yeah, is halfling luck. Like. Yeah, well, you've been rolling it separately. You can't. <laughs> roll me that one again. 24. 24, okay, yeah, so that works. Uh, he takes 5 so points five of damage. 
and then that's another fine. One. Keep track of your uh, keep track of your daggers, please. Plus another I'm out. ten damage. That was that one. Okay, so they are pretty I much all like boop, 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 all stuck on his body, and he he looks at you. He is like bleeding from a few places, but he's furious. At that, uh, Milo's just gonna kind of step behind the door. This door open? No, uh, open. it is not locked. You could open it. Uh, barge through. Yeah, Milo's just gonna kind of go inside of here, and sit in the corner. Sit in the corner. Oh no, wait! I can't go that far. I can go right there. Alright. Uh, I'll just peek around the corner. Ooh, that's a lot of guards in there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Boy, that's a lot of guards. So, Esgrin is just gonna be gonna stand around and just say, "You'll see nothing, you fools." And he is going to spend two key points to cast darkness. Oh yes. Um. It has an area effect, spent, right? Centered of um. Speaking of darkness, I get that. This place. Do you have it as a spell count? I do yeah. not, sorry. Or not. I do. Oh, good. Uh, oh, 50 foot radius. Press 50 foot radius. radius. That can spread around the corner. Yep, da -da 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 -da. same. Still gonna use that. So, the moment they get out of that 15 foot radius, everything is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, they will be very. Like, Ugh, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Stay something, they can't see anything. Can We can see the, them still, though, right? Or no? No, no. Okay. It's just a black sphere. You see black. Uh, oh, I do get uh, darkness, yeah. I get darkness as well now, this level, and I get it for free. Like, I can just cast it once per day. Oh, sorry, it's getting... 15 feet mm, this way. Don't want to use. S was gonna open this window. Mm hmm. This window? Yeah, you do. Okay, and walk out. <laughs> and uh, off he goes. I'll me... <laughs> make sure you check how far I've moved. Alright, so I get. I'll move uh, this way. Alright, that's my turn. Asgrin? As Asgrin's just gonna follow his brother out the window. <laughs> the rest just sees them running away, jumping out the window for those who might even see the window. It's like, bye! <laughs> and. Fuck this. He's just gonna quickly say to his brother, um. What do we do now? We got what, people out. What do we do now? We got we are in, we got prisoner. We go out. We leave and get payment. If they do not follow, we go get payment. <coughs> Is that all the difference? Hmm? Uh he just asked you if that's all there all the people if you know. I do know they not say but I assume all these right, only cells I think that's all Asgrin's uh, turn mm -hmm. yeah, Mia. <clears throat> I'm gonna move uh, um, yeah I'm gonna move 30 feet towards the window when the rest is out Okay, you run into the room with Milo standing next to you. I turn back and I hold my action in case something walks in, and then simply knock Milo. Okay, so you have your sword ready, the one that belonged to those guards earlier. Uh, by the way, Corvo, um, he would tell Tokan, before it's your turn, what about the others? Tokan, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, Tokan on the and say, uh... All in Would good time. anyone else have heard this beforehand? I mean, <clears throat> you were told that they took Corvo, Yamir, and the other guards. So. Yeah, and the guards, and we did actually say that. So well, they would I, know. I mean, in like everyone in the group, including the new ones, would they have also heard it? Corvo just told it to Corvo and Ice. Okay. And Corvo told it to Token and Ice. So I'm not sure about the others. Question. Yes. 
No, you can't hold a bonus action, can you? Four? What, what, you, what do you want to do? No, no, it's okay. Uh, ignore me. Uh, <laughs> I do. I'll just take it. <laughs> I know. I might just... Uh... Oh, lovely. Oh, well. you didn't you didn't see? Well, I mean, the ones in the back you don't see because there's this... Uh, in this darkness going around here. So you really only see this guy in front. The front is guy is also in the darkness. Is he? Yeah. Yes. He's in the within the fifteen feet. That's that's where I centered it. Okay. Well then Token doesn't see anything. It's just a black sphere of darkness. How long does darkness last? For up to ten minutes. Oh cool, then I can and I use well. I suppose I can just use my action to dash then. Uh, what's this on the desk, Doc? It's just a picture. A picture. <laughs> it is a desk. It's uh, the ultimate. Are these I, it, chests? Or it's these a bench. That's a bench. That's a bench. Right. Hmm. Oh, it's a naughty picture. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Not a uh, guard picture. <laughs> it's probably my fan mail. Uh, I suppose I'm going to look at those two. And say, where are you going? There are others. There you go. That's what I'll do. Are they not done yet? Draw. Okay. There are others. And you'll nod. <laughs> well, hallway <clears throat> is death. So this way we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nod. Anyway. Ah, uh, uh, ice, ice is not your turn yet. Oh yeah, I'm done, so yeah, it's ice. Perfect. No, so no, there's one more player on the field. It's right there. Arch. Oh, there's the archer. Yeah, he is... You don't see him, nobody sees him, but he sees the drow. Uh-oh. I'm oh. just deciding which one he's gonna attack. I can't see any archers. He's no, because he's a wood elf. Yeah, this is probably a sniper, which means he can fucking shoot you. And... You don't know him yet, but you'll see where he is in a minute. So he's shooting at Esgrin. Sure. He's a trap. AC 17. Let's see, do we do bonus action on him? Yeah, Esgrin bonus action, Hunter's Mark on you. Go um, for it. Do, 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 do. And he's we got. Should have taken that at the feet, I think. Advantage? <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> you take 12 points of piercing damage. Let's do the Hunter's Mark. One point of Hunter's Mark damage. Okay. Uh, he's not done yet. Um, From what <clears throat> direction am I getting shot? Then? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. He comes to the level. Uh, he comes to the map now. So he's there. Why is... Oh, wait, 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 why did both of you take damage? What? Which one? Which? Which? You said As Asgrin. Yeah, okay. Asgrin, the A guy. You said literally Dr. Oh. They're the same I said A guy, Asgrin, not Isgrin. Okay, I'll refer to this then. The one with the hunter's mark on him. And so uh, here comes a second attack to the E guy. The one okay. without hunter's mark. <laughs> Takes four points of damage. I think it's shot from. Oh, they, they see him. Behind. Behind? Oh shit. Sweep so we turn around. Well, and you hear a stop it right there and surrender. And uh, that's that. Ice, it's your turn. Oh, oh yeah, Nicholas, where down. are you? <laughs> 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 Nicholas, are you, by the way, arrived yet? <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, I just told you. He's going to wait for like 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes before the guards can drop him. At the warehouse, and then he starts heading. Well, I there. guess he would be arriving down there somewhere, right? Where there's light. Yeah, but he's not just like gonna walk in where he can be seen, so. Okay, so you arrive next round. Um, so what is Ice doing? There's a circle okay, drawing so tool, yes. I suppose he. gets here. and then he looks over, and he's like. Oops. Okay. No, you don't see anything. There's Maybe. darkness. There's darkness. Well, well, he sees the darkness, and he's thinking, okay, and then he just keeps going. He takes the dash action and makes it there. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're all congregating into this room. 
<laughs> well, the captain <laughs> steps. The captain steps forward. Uh, for about 15 feet. He does look down. He sees the escaping prisoner, and he sees Yamir, and he thinks. Is he able to navigate through the hole, through darkness? I've just walked straight ahead. Yeah, it's okay. There's nothing to it, so he goes for Yamir. I still have my mm -hmm. uh, action that help. Sure, you can attack him. You can attack him before he attacks you. Crack him one. Man, wow. Nice. How d What did you do? You Training. Him. No, you, you hit him. Uh, you hit him hard, but he's still alive. He's bleeding a bit more, but he's like... Uh, be gone, foul being! Uh huh, be gone, foul being. He uses his great sword and he attacks you twice on disadvantage. Ow! He's poisoned. I know, that's why I said on disadvantage. Yeah, no, no, twice. That's what he asked, yeah, Ymir asked. Oh. Uh, lucky for you, his poison throws him off guard and both of the attacks terribly miss, otherwise, he would have taken 27 points of damage. Fucking hell. He's like, yeah, <laughs> ah, and he just hits the door, but nothing else. Like, Will you stay? Let's see the others. They're coming out now too. One of them... Eh, actually, they, they kind of like know their whereabouts. It's not that hard traveling down road. <laughs> Since they have nothing else to do, they're just gonna start dashing. They want to be in the fun. And put one more there. There we go, that's their turn. Corvo sees that and he's like, oops. Runs out the door. Yep, good man. <laughs> Runs out the door and sees the next guard. <laughs> Nothing of value was lost. And let's see. guard force at this point, guys. He is. Uh, would he have the skill? Anyways, he's rushing forward to to take the guard out. With what? With, With his. Weapon? Yeah, he's got a sword. Oh. He could always always grapple. No, he's got. Oh wait, he's got a shield, not a sword. Oh fuck! Yeah. I haven't crying out. He could shield bash him and knock him down. Uh, he doesn't have that. Yeah, but you, he can if you. He, he just uses an action to patrol. It's the same thing. Yeah, he it's just his attack. action as opposed to a bonus action which shield master gives. Or what's it called, shield master? Yeah, right? but he does not have shield master. Yeah, but he can. Yeah, use no, his so action. he can use just his normal action to shield bash rather than a bonus action so... as a bonus action for shield bash for shield masters. Yeah. Let's make they this one a hidden roll. Yeah, Always whisper rolls. What? Just a moment, he's going to take him out. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> yeah. So he just jumps ahead, throws the the shield to the side, just grapples him. They are both oh. now on the ground. Corvo, get, get too comfortable, Corvo. With the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying anything. He's <laughs> like. He's like the, the, the long lost love. Here I am. He's like jumps him. Like <laughs> death of prison does to you, Toka. Milo. <laughs> um, would Milo have to? What would Milo have to do to attempt to quickly grab the dagger sticking out of this guard in front of us? Uh, you would need to do me sleight of hand per dagger you want to get out. Okay. Milo wants to try and grab at least one. Could he kind of dealing damage if he's pulling it out of the guy? No, he's not. Um, Milo, no, you, uh, he's... While he's trying to attack, um, Yamiya, you try to snatch off one of the daggers, you fail. Alright, and I'm assuming that's my turn. If you want to move, you can move. You wanna stay there? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Right then, the E guy, it's your turn. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, I still have both my daggers, I believe. Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna move up 40 feet. Uh huh. 
So now I'm in range for dagger throw, so I'm gonna throw the poison dagger at his neck. Mm -hmm. Hopefully hit. Wow, it does hit. Yes. DC 13 constitution save. Please tell me what he rolls. Natural one. Yes! Oh, yes! He, he falls under to the ground, unconscious. He is out. Nice one. Oh, wait, no, that's not. That's the one. Rick, twice is true. You do not harm my brother. Filthy elf. <laughs> nice one. Filthy wood elf. Um, Asgrim will hear in the back of his head. We take this man prisoner and deal with him later. Oh dear god. <laughs> what kind of people have you hired, Milo? He is a worthy one for Lolf. That's my turn. Is that it? Okay. Alright. Next guy. As Asgrin's also going to follow his brother and just come up here. And um, he's just going to look at the now unconscious elf, and it's just going to say, "Yes, very good offering to law." And that's all he's going to do this turn. Mm-hmm. Right, Yamir. I'm going to attempt to finish this guy off, but first I cast my hunter's mark on him. Which one? Oh, the one in front of you. It's the only guy I can hit. You sure. can do it! Beat the ever living fuck out of him. Hand has a mark on you. Uh, on him. Ah, my sword fills me. So it does. And I'm gonna move a bit more back. And it ends my turn. Mm hmm. Just give me a moment. Right. Nicholas, you are finally arriving. Oh yeah, he's gonna take a peek around the corner and see the problem. You see, you see two people on the ground. You don't know Corvo. They're just yeah. wrestling on the ground. That's. But the other guy is wearing the uniform, right? So he can. Just... Yeah, one of them is wearing the uniform of the guards. The other one isn't. I'm totally non-homoerotic wrestling. <laughs> and he's gonna take a step back. And. Uh, I'll... Yeah, it's dark here, so he can't actually see that way around. So maybe he doesn't go there, if he can't even see anything there. Well, you can go where you see something. Yeah, but he can't see anything there. So... My god. He's gonna listen, though, so I'll do a perception check. Mm-hmm, okay. Do you roll me one? Okay, yeah, um, like you hear there's a, there's a lot of commotion coming from somewhere inside. Who's behind the door? Which door? This one. Where? Here. That's ice. Oh. <laughs> poor ice, ice. Ice, baby. Token. Poor, poor ice. Poor ice. Um, well, I suppose seeing as he leaps out of the way, all of a sudden the captain will spot this, uh, Tiefling who was stealthed behind Ymir, who still has not broken stealth until now, when he points his hand forward and fires a fireball right at his fucking face. And who? Oh, the the guy in front. Okay. Yeah, he's about to get oh, a very shit. nasty headache. Do it. Look, there's a head left. It. Yeah, right. On advantage, I presume, because I'm dro I'm dropping my stealth. Yes, please. 25 Ooh. fireball damage. Deals, 18 oh, fire damage. Yes. The what is going on with you? He's like he, he he's like uh, woof. Suddenly goes up in flames and like sputters. He's still alive. He's he's damaged though. Into his face. 
into his face. That's it? Uh, I am actually going to then use my movement. Um, if you move through the window, would I have to take an action? No, you could. It, no, you could just s slip out. That's the free interaction with your environment. Okay. Well, I'll slip out then and uh, use the rest of my movement to move up to these guys. Oh, there's their fucking ranger that they KO'd with one shot. I can't he... believe you. He's not that dead. Ranger. He's just lying on I the know, ground. He is just KO'd him with a, with a nat one. Can easy peasy. Well, it happens <laughs> to the Russian, best of them. Right? We're Russian ninjas. That's we will fuck you up. You um, have to get something yeah, good for that. My, uh, that is my uh, turn. Ice. Poor Ice is stuck in all of this. He's just a young kid. Who is he even? By the way, I would I'll assume right back, Nick guys. has made it, right? Yeah, he did. He's well, he's on the turn order. order. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, the number 14. Missed the whole thing. Eyes, <laughs> <laughs> do something. Oops. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, um... Ah! With, the, with this dynamic lighting, I couldn't see at all what was happening. Well, there. that's the that's the point of it. <laughs> <sighs> well, it is night outside. Yeah. Run, wee boy, run! Uh-huh. <laughs> well... But wait... <laughs> I, I've been completely dismissing what has been happening. Uh... Where, where, where did everybody else go? Uh, you don't know. They jumped out the window. For all you know is they're somewhere outside. Which window? All of them. The one up and the one uh, to your to your left as well, through both windows. Okay. Well, I would assume that. Um, you see, well, that guy is. This guy's dead, right? No, he's still alive. Barely. Yeah, he's uh, he's singed, but he is still alive. And he's on poison, yeah. Okay, well I would assume that, uh... He'll probably... Just kind of react to this guy around the corner. Hit him with non-lethal damage, I guess, because he's not exactly in that mood. Fails. Okay, and he's got this too. Fails. Okay, and he's just gonna keep going out the window. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> he jumps out. Like, he just runs by Milo. <laughs> he this, jumps this, out. This is all. Okay, so the captain's turn. He's like. He's get, he's really, really annoyed by what happens, so he walks in. Still sees Yamir, and he's still gonna attack Yamir. Twice with his great sword. Let's see if Yamir takes any damage. Yamir, you yeah. the the where, while the great sword comes down, you take twelve slashing points on the downswing. And then he rewards the swing and comes back uh slashes you on your on your side for another 13 points of damage. What's going on? Oh yeah, Mir just took 25 points of damage. Fucking hell. That from the guy me. that's poisoned. Right, and now the rest of them come in. Yay, Milo, you're getting swarmed. Don't worry, he has a window of opportunity. <laughs> but a wow. 1d4 psychic. Nothing's uh, to grapple him though. Let's see, would he be able to get there as he gets there? So Milo, there we go, uh, you're being swung at by a two-handed battle axe. Whew, you just ah, sidestep for a moment. Of course. And uh, let's see if the short sword does any better. No. No, you really, really have a yes. lot of reflexes today. Um, he misses yeah, you I'm too. Back. He misses too.
So the other two, they rush out and they see their friend being, well, let's say, <clears throat> down in the mud. And the one guy with the crossbow, now he is gonna still shoot at you, Milo. Nine points of piercing damage. Dang it. You don't get away that easily without getting damage tonight. <laughs> right. And the guy on the ground. Let's see if he gets out. Against. Oh my gosh, where's Corvo? Corvo. He's still cuddling our soldier. Yeah, yeah, Corvo and the soldier, they're still cuddling on the ground. And uh, they stay cuddled. They just keep on rolling around in the dirt. I like how we're, you're legitimately like, yep, cuddling now. That's it. <laughs> Head cannon has become real cannon. Right, Milo, it's your turn. Alright, I'm going to, to disengage and go out the window. Mm hmm. And then, being this far away, I'm shooting at the captain right in front of Ymir with my hand crossbow. Mm hmm. And because obviously I can mm -hmm. get sneak attack. Mm hmm. Oh, Misses. Oh, that stupid tin. It just shoop, zooms in and uh, embeds itself somewhere in the wall. Shame, that would have been really good. Would have well, been. At that, Milo's gonna kind of run up this way towards Tokon as well. Poor guard's probably got like partially melted face now. It, indeed, he has. High yeah, pain tolerance, that, though. That's it for Milo's. Turn. Okay, the uh, the dark guys. Right. So oh. Eskrin. Our resident black guys. Wow. Wow. They are. You will pay for Racist. that. They literally are. Anyway, uh, he's gonna walk 15 feet over to this Great. elf and pick him up. Mm -hmm. You'll just sling him over the shoulder. Ah, I'm just uh, throwing my dice. Oh wait, down. actually, no. Ooh. There's still fighting going on, is there? There's still fighting um, going on, yeah. Okay, he's gonna take the elf, like, pull him up. Uh, he is, like, carrying him in, um, with his hands under his elbows. Uh huh. I mean, well, and there is, like, a short Half so he's movement, carrying shoulders, but pretty much. Where do you want to drag him to? Um. I want to turn around and hold him in front of me. I'm just gonna, gonna wait till the guards come out. If the captain or something gums out, I want to look at them. Smile and snap his neck. Oh, by God. twisting in two ways. Milo, Roll me perception. Nope. 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 So anyway, I'll just tell my brother, um, get ready, more coming. Since the others are jumping out the window. Bye bye. We sacrifice now. The other? As Asgrin just um, nods his head, and at that he's going to move closer to the window, and he's going to prepare himself for... Um, he's actu I'm actually going to use another key point, and when someone comes out... Or can I do that? Can I save an action and then use a bonus action attacks as well? Like if I'm... If he's going to no, do both you can only no. save one attack. Crap. Only one. Only the attack action. Is a key so it's a, it's a spell? It's a. It's kind of like a bardic no. inspiration. Like so how so they have class, 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 class resource. Yeah. So it's, it's, ca it's kind of like sorcery points, or just spell points. Look at. Oh, look at. Because it up, you can hold for, a spell. But for no, monk no, no. creatures, not all not all monks can use them to cast spells. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does not spell your um, cast. You, you were just going to use it to get extra attack. Yeah. Um, so basically, no, martial um, arts. No, no, it's fine. Uh, no. So yeah, you're, I mean, it needs a bonus action. You can't take a bonus action if you're going to hold anything. So, so you're you in can't. position, and whoever comes through the window. Andrew. Yeah, he's going to be sitting there, kind of slinked against the wall, okay. and then right when one comes out, he's punching him <laughs> in the jaw, attempting to knock him out. But right. obviously, I don't know. That Who's happened. that e guy again? Um, Feldro. Yeah, Feldro. While you are concentrating on the window, a massive pain just comes from... Oh my gosh, that would be your left side, as a huge javelin just impales itself into you. You take 7 points of damage. From his left side? On his left side. Uh, what? Oh wait, I have to... This guy's to... like right next to me. 
Right. His HP is ruined, not... Then, is not no, he he's not right next to you, but he's close. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Hey, he's wounded. No, he's not. Oh, and wait, you don't no. see him, because I need to take that one out. That was the old oh, character. God, there we go. So, Should've you... you map, yeah, well, he's coming from the side. You, uh, he comes out of the darkness, and you are focusing on the other side, <laughs> and you, you hear this massive scream, like, Rah! and you get this oh, javelin this right into you, and there's something raging and coming towards you. Massive. Okay. Just quickly, can I quickly send out someone, brother? More fools behind me. Massive. Are you gonna snap his neck? Your action was saved for when somebody showed up. Uh, sure. He's can in I pain. Turn turn around and snap the mouse neck that I'm holding. Give me... oh gosh, what would that be? Because uh, you're now already in pain. Or critical, do you want me to just roll on on the attack and to take the critical damage? Let's just see... no... Try... Shouldn't he also get advantage because it's an unconscious person? Of course. Yeah, they can't avoid, they can't resist. Yeah, yeah but next are tough things as well. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, see, uh, which one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, roll me a normal strength. Yeah, okay. just straight strength. Straight strength. Wow. Really? No. This is, that, this is what you're gonna advantage? do? With, With advantage? advantage? Flexible. Yeah, I mean, he's unconscious. Yeah, yeah but uh, you, 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 should, That's better. you shouldn't use advantage, like, I'll just the difficulty of the check rather than, but never mind. Well, you but try, but the pain in your side really... Um, I mean, you almost hear the... But it doesn't really finish its. No, no, <laughs> mm -mm, must no, be like, no. So what does it actually do to him? Oh, he gets a massive amount of neck pain when he wakes up, but uh, you lose grip of him and he falls to the ground. Okay. Boom. He lands in front of you. Okay. Anyway, Zemir, it's your turn, and I need to put this I'm one on run. the turn order. So he gets uh, somewhere around there. Seeing as I have disengaged, can I still pop a potion? That's oh wait, I don't have any, isn't it? Never mind. That potion? Well, you're okay. naked. For all intents and purposes, you're naked. Do I have a sword? Well. Yeah, and your okay. garments, and that's would it. Would it take, put the sword in your throat? Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think a sword's gonna work as a potion. <laughs> Stab it's yourself not. for healing. <laughs> Negative healing. It's... I don't know. Yeah, but that's a sword of life. I don't hold my so, uh, Nicholas, <laughs> you just came up and you should have noticed that there are some guards rushing out the, the door you were hiding behind. Yeah, yeah, I figured that as much. I'm gonna move the character a bit, but it's not gonna be cut in the movement, just so I can see a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that loincloth's higher, higher than me. <laughs> yeah, Nicky's gonna get, not, get, not gonna get out of here, here silently. Use the armor at least, but this is like a bit of decision point. Should he back off or should he actually try to help? Oh, he's trying to decide that. Yeah, I'm trying to decide it. Okay, he's gonna like. Uh, I suppose he's not gonna kick the door closed. It's a, that's a free action, hopefully, so he can actually see a bit better. And uh, why do I always throw my dice away? Yeah. Uh, then he's gonna shield slam the guy who's who's who, in front of him. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the in brown. Do I get like an advantage or something? You do because, because you come from behind. They didn't really expect you. Yeah. Mm, no, that's not. Yeah, but you, you, you did you roll as well? It's a contested check, so. I just tell you, it's not good enough. Fine. Then he's gonna. I think it's uh, yeah. He's gonna swing his mace and hit the guy. It's gonna be. Uh... What's the do menacing, it. Men menacing attack. So it's gonna be a menacing attack. Mm mm. Misses. Yeah, I figure. And then he's just gonna. Say the well, this is awkward. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna just action search, so he's gonna do that whole thing again. Okay. So another cook knockdown. 
problem why ignore us ignore us because I don't get, get an actual, uh, another What is that action. athletics you're trying to do there? Yeah, yeah I forgot that I don't get, actually get another bonus action of that. Uh, yeah, he's uh, uh, trying to fall to the ground like beg for forgiveness. Yeah, no. No, it's just another menacing strike, but that probably is well. And there's a no, no, no little attacks, by the way, he's not gonna use little. So that's a bunch Is of things. Is 12 a miss, by the way? Yes. So he's mm. gonna curse and then he's just gonna run out here. But let me measure the distance to him first. Why well, you wanna run? Uh, you get it. Uh, okay. There. So he can get another. Yeah, he swings a spike, but he misses you because you're running so fast into the shadows. Screw this. <laughs> Toka. Cool. Uh, I'll move here. Uh. No, do I attack? Yeah, let's save the black guy. Man, so uh, racist. <laughs> totally. Black. Let's save this dark. Let's dark elf. This drow is black. Not all drow are black. Some are blue. <laughs> uh, Firebolt. Eighteen. Does that hit? It. Uh, 18? Oh yeah, 18 yeah. hits. He takes 14 fire damage. Now I need to see this. When they are raging, does that half uh, your yeah. fire? If he's a barbarian dog and he's raging, he then is. yeah, he takes half damage. Okay. I thought they uh, only take half damage from no, slashing okay. and piercing. Everything except if, if he is... What, what kind of barbarian is he? Oh, I'll try to determine does he have that the right bear now. Totem? Yeah. If he is not, uh, does not have the bear totem, then he only has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, I most raging. I believe he was... told me something about the bear totem. What else is in there? If it's bear totem, then... <gasps> the Should I know anything this. else to that path of token? Well, that explains something. Spirit. You've just explained something to me, because in the other campaign we have a barbarian, and he's resistant to everything except fucking psychic. And he always talks about how yeah. when he gets a high enough level and he can talk to a god, he's gonna talk to the bear god. So that must mean he's got a bear totem. Mm, Thank you for that. Does. I didn't know psychic, that. the psychic, Yeah, I, let me just take a look in his backstory. I'm sure he written it in there somewhere. Oh my god, this is a character, what? This is a character, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah? Uh oh. Um, if That's you ever watch the historical off. episode, yeah, yep. that is the bear thingy. He wanted to be like all this. Okay, then then it's crazy. he is resistant to fire. Yep. Then he wanted to be like fire. all this crazy. So he takes seven damage. Yeah, he's a bit singed on the on the side. Ah, I've got Sammy Zane's theme song stuck in my hand. Why? I'm listening to Sammy Zane's theme song. Totally inappropriate for this. <laughs> I've got a Rammstein on. Seemed decent. Yeah, but. Ooh. Yeah, here. Okay, that one is interesting. This <laughs> this is the theme song. I've got stuck in my head. It's not very appropriate for this for this fight. Sorry, I just need to put something in there. 3d6, okay, so uh, that was it, right, Token? Uh, I have 15 more Let's movements, so take I'm him out. Gonna... Oh, shit. Uh, uh oh, graphics driver crash. <laughs> no! Yeah, I need to reload, Rip. refresh, uh, thingy. Give me a second, yeah, Doc, I'm actually gonna use the rest of my 15 movement, by the way. Where are you moving to? Uh, up. And back. To safety, so the people who jump out the window aren't going to jump me straight away. Dex, that's okay. That's that one works. Uh, there we go. There's another fifteen foot. Oh, that's what the I said. Uh, uh, let's go. Efficiency. Did, 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 did. Quick question for those who have maybe played a barbarian before. When you make a melee attack using strength while raging, you gain bonus to the damage roll that increases as you gain levels as a barbarian. Yeah. yeah. How do I... Yeah. where do I put this increased thing in there? What do you mean? Just add in a macro Oh, the um... Add plus this much damage to the yeah, damage roll for any damage. strength based weapon. Yeah, sorry, that that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, it's in there. It's plus... Okay, okay I found it. 
So this individual's going balls to the wall mental. What? So I wonder. I reckon this hunter, this like character, was also a really like. Oh yeah, he was a really awesome guy. <laughs> yeah, just right. So Ace, Ace used made his move. <laughs> used to be. Oh, Ace so made his move, good. right? Did Ice move or did he not? Because it's um, his turn. N no, I mean he can't really see anybody. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry for it is being dark. Oh yeah, I need to should have cast dark vision on him. I forgot. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's um, that's I would enjoyed that too. I'll all I see. Shut up! You got invisibility. You only get one bell cast on you per fucking adventure. I can only see like probably. I can only see like the guards that are still in here, and well, you saw Tokan running off north, right? So you should probably well, go that way. Okay. He's. I guess I'm gonna cautiously move forward. <laughs> Music is not appropriate at all for what's going on. Right, there we go. Now it's all set. Right, um, I just made this move. Guilt guard I kept... guess I could ready in action so mm -hmm. that if I can somehow tell that an enemy is entering my reach, I'll attack them. If somebody comes close to you? Well, within 10 feet of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Within 10 feet, if I am sure that they are an enemy, somehow, or like... And think that they're an enemy. I'll attack. Mm hmm. Right, Captain did his stuff. The guards are jumping out the window, of course, because they are being very. Lo you know, loyal guards. So, who All was right, reading in an attack? The first one. Okay. Yeah. Misses. Uh. Okay. That was ten feet. So he turns over there. He yells out, "Watch out!" The other one jumps out. Has the battle axe. So let's uh, let's do Milo first. Milo. Milo dodges. Short sword is coming for you. Twelve does not hit you, so you're lucky there. Yes. Battle axe is swinging for the A guy. Misses two. My God, what's wrong with that? Okay, here we go. Guild guards again, right? <laughs> hey, I'm okay. With this. <laughs> the other one jumps out the window and shoots his crossbow at Yamir. Oh no! For oh. two points of damage. How many? Two. Oh, not as bad. Yeah, it just grazes your ear like pshup. <laughs> you may now make a piercing into your ear. <laughs> yeah, right. Earring, whatever. Well, at least the tip isn't cut off. Um. Oh gosh! And now they have to decide what to do. Fuck uh, you over and die. No, they decide to help their. I like that. They help. They try to help their friends. So there, um, two of them are now bashing onto Corvo. Oh, poor Corvo. Fuck it would suck if Corvo fucking dies. Like, well, Fuck he shouldn't have run off, off on his own. Oh, he's a dumbass, so he does. They did finish their rolling yeah, around on the ground. You to roll your own initiative. So they they stop fighting. He gets another sword, sword, short sword swung towards him. Oh my goodness, that hits him for two more points of damage. So let me let me tell you, he's on thirteen points of damage currently, uh, thirteen HP. So he is bleeding heavily. Uh, he's he's a bit surrounded. So what does a Corvo do when he's surrounded? He jumps through the window and lands in the corridor and starts running after you guys. Of course, he took a disengage to jump through the window. He's not that stupid. He's like, wait, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> okay, he's coming. As the E guy. My goodness. Mr. E. That's Milo's turn. No, you Mr. E. Milo. Yeah, Milo. What, Milo? You just get Milo. Okay, Milo, then do your turn. Oh, 
big stack of pancakes. You're just the greatest person right. in the world. Yeah, yeah, Milo, do it. Oh. Milo's disengaging. Gonna move back and shoot at the one that sh sh or swung at him with the short sword uh -huh. with his hand crossbow. Uh huh. And do it. Only one three. I said. All right, so he gets fourteen points of damage. Yeah, he hits. Um, what was that all about? Fourteen points. Okay. So you see him go down on one knee in like putting his shield on the ground like because you hit him really hard. He's still alive, but he's bleeding heavily. Wait, so he's on his knees? Yeah, he's currently on his knees. So is he prone technically? No, he's not on the ground. He's just on one knee. He's like your height okay. now. Okay. Perfect to chop off his head. <laughs> if you would be close well, enough. <laughs> my, uh, am I actually? No, I can't. Okay. I'm no, you can't. That's, that's all he's doing. All he's going to do is go. I can't see hardly. How do you shoot him if you don't see him? He can like see with the light the from monkey. inside. Oh yeah, he was in the yeah he was yeah, in the light. That's he's fine. In the light of the window. So. Um. Just let me tell you. On your left side, you have the uh, you. You get the presence of Tokan, who's like heavily breathing, uh, doing his normal breathing on your face. left side. So Tokan is to your left. I haven't done anything stressful. But yeah, he can. You know, he knows how you breathe. He's been running. So he knows how I breathe. Tokan is Tokan is on your left. Oh uh, well, you Plus, it know. doesn't really help if your tail is basically patting him. True. Yeah. I don't know if you know of any of those like spellcasters' eyes. No idea. Hmm. Ah, sorry, um, Esgrin, the okay. E-Guy, uh, that I so just anyway, swapped over, the E-Guy. How e -guy. far is, uh, Big Angry Man away from me? He's right next to you. Oh, now he is? Yeah, he just rushed oh, up. Threw, threw and then run? run? Yeah, okay, yeah, he cool. threw and then he just like, comes running at you, full speed, full raging. So, I'll take the knife with which I dropped his, uh, pal, uh -huh. and, uh, use it against him. That's the last charge of the poison that's on the knife. I do it. This will be glorious. Although he's a yes. Tiberian, he's got a, a very high constitution. You Go. Yes. DC thirteen. DC constitution, right? Not one. Constitution. Please, not one. Oh, forget that. He uh, almost was a natural twenty. Almost. Oh. He didn't. He didn't. He passed oh. it. He passed yeah, it though. So, um, let's actually see. I have a bunch of stuff that I could do. You could still do. Uh, yeah, I will follow up with a bomber combo, spend my last key point, uh -huh. and do two more unarmed strikes. Oh, so he took three uh, piercing damage by the dot. Yep. Oh, don't worry, he did that. Yep. And another two more yeah, attacks. Six, six. six more points of damage. You do not impress him at all. He just. The only thing you see in his eyes is like fire, rage. No comes uh, He will now actually talk out loud and simply say. Great enemy over here. Assistance would be nice. So that that's it. That's it. Then the A guy can now move. All right. As a group, and seeing the one fall his knee, one knee, he's gonna first do an unarmed strike at him. Okay. Do it. The damage was rounded up. You miss. I'm gonna spend a key point to two more. Um, uh, attacks as well unarmed. One, the first one's going towards him. Hits. How do you want to do this? Asgrin's just simply going to grab his head and pound his head into the ground. Okay. Das. Wow. Next snaps. Blup. He's dead. And then with his second one, he's turning to the guy with the uh, battle axe and is going to attempt to hit him across the jaw. You hit him. Right. And then he's unable to 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 speak for the next couple of days. But yeah, you broke his with, jaw, but he's still alive. With my last key point, I'm going to uh, go. Oh no, I got to use a bonus action. I can't do that. Never mind. You I'm, done. It. I'm done. I'm <clears> done. <throat> okay, the Punisher. Oh no, wait, the Pusher, which is actually not really working out because there's no high building to throw you off right now. Easy. <laughs> well, even so, I'm a monk. I'm a slow fall that shit. Yeah, you might actually survive that. So, um, you have his javelin in your side, and he's like, not really going for that. He takes his great sword, 
And he swings at you twice. On disadvantage, however. Uh, wait, I needed to put disadvantage. Um, okay, so the first one hits you for 14 points of slashing damage. I need to put... On disadvantage? On dis yeah, on disadvantage okay. he hits you. He rolled a 19 and a 23. Jeez, cool. Doesn't it? Next one. Wait, yeah, I need to... Advantage Wait, total. he gets two attacks? He's level 10. Mm. What? Yes. Yeah. Didn't I tell you that you were up against level 10s today? No, you did not. Okay. No, you actually didn't. Okay. You told me. I told him. Right. The other one hits right. you for 14 more points, because he rolled an 18 uh -huh. and a 20. He's like... <laughs> He's really happy to see one of the guys being unconscious. And at that point, he just moves forward. Towards Milo. Because he doesn't really care about the rest. <laughs> he just lets you <laughs> lay there. <laughs> Yamir, it's your turn. I'm gonna walk towards the scout to crossbow. Did uh, he... Did he walk into my range? Oh yeah, he did. Do you wanna do your attack thingy? Well, he's, yeah. He's, he's snarling and like... Yeah, like sure. Control away, so you, you're pretty sure that guy's an enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, you hit. Is... Uh, nine... Uh, that's, that's minus... F okay, yeah, you hit him. On the side. Like, for him it feels like more like somebody's tapping in on, on the shoulder. Does he like stop and turn around? No, oh. he totally does not go for so you. Just ignore it. Yeah, he just ignores just that. It. Yeah. Okay, Yamir, you walked so up. I can get to shank this guy now. To what? I'm just shank shanking him. the guy with the. Ah. Oh yeah, sword. yeah. You uh, you walk up and you offer him your sword. Here, hold this. Yeah, you you <laughs> toss him the sword. <laughs> it <laughs> does not do any damage to him, but now he's oh, yeah. got the sword laying at his feet. And he looks a bit perplexed, he's like, huh? <laughs> What's going on now? I'm perfect with a monk. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, hold this dagger, I'm on my bonus action, I'd like to now clock him in the face. Okay. I still have some movement left, perfect. so I'm gonna walk back to Dokkan. Well, I mean, don't you have to take the attack action to... Uh, to I guess. True. Yeah. You have to take the attack action. Well, you... While you walk backwards, uh, he does slash you with his short sword. You see, uh, after you drop him your short sword, he drops his um, crossbow. And he's like, "What?" And then he just lashes out, just on on reflex, just like, uh, "Ah, shit!" And you take you six more take points. An attack action. No, he yeah, can't really ready pick anything the up. Sword and then okay, him. then he punches you for one button. point. Yeah, let him do it. That you know, he's he's, he's trained yeah, soldier, fair, whatever. I think he gets that. Yeah. But anyways, you take six points of damage. You're not down yet, but you take six points. Shit, now he's out of his crossbow. Fah. Yeah, now he has to take an action to... to... Oh, he keeps his thingy. Uh, Nicholas, wherever you are, in the shadows. Yeah, or, or he can slash. Yeah, he's in the shadows, he's gonna... You hear some glass shattering. This way, um, and I assume that he's gonna hear from here. He can just gonna hear, see the ice and the guard, at least. Can you? Well, I, I can at least, but... Because the light of the... From the windows. Oh yeah, you okay. see, you see the guards, you see eyes. Uh huh. Yeah, so he takes out his um, handgun, crossbow, and he's like covering eyes now. So if people are like trying to swing at eyes, he's gonna like uh, shoot at them, but like as a distraction, hopefully giving them uh, like a disadvantage, disadvantage on attack or something. On the first one who's who attacks eyes, he's gonna like covering fire is the idea. But if you don't like it, no, then... you can you can stay there. Uh, Tokan. Token can see everything because he's like dark yep. vision. He's like, um, you see the. Milo is so unbelievably fucked. It's not even funny. Um, <laughs> you see the steaming guy coming at you. He's like, yeah. I think he's not looking hurt at all. He's looking tip top. Oh yeah, he's like he's got a few fire. scrapes and 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 stuff on him. Level ten. You don't know that. Uh, you see this big guy that's just brushing over the damage. Yeah, but he's still terrifying. Uh, <laughs> That's what he's supposed to be. <laughs> I might as well blast him again. You hit him. Hit. Oh yeah, you definitely hit him. 
Does this fire light up so that I know that he's right in front of me? Uh, yeah. You, yeah, you see a brief just full flash of light. Actually, you would, uh, you, you, you know, your eyes would have adjusted. You see that there is somebody, a shadow moving across in front of you. It and then he's like, shh! Hmm. Eyes, you're terrified. No, not really, but you see that wow. thing moving. Shit. Um... Do I want to do anything else? No, I think I'll just get as much distance as possible. Because I've got, like, ridiculous range on all my spells, so I'll just move back to here. Token tries to run away, okay. I'm not running away. I know, I'm not Ice. I'm abandon my friends, I'm not like that. <laughs> Ice. Me, Doc. He's just taking yes, you advantage are. on... Just listen. embrace it! I'm just taking the... No, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just a racist, that's all. Mmm. Hmm. Um, yeah. So I think turn. <laughs> I said I think I'd want to step back a little bit. Um hmm. Do, is since he's not focused on me, does that still provoke an opportunity attack? No, he's just rushing forward. He ignores you for this moment in time. Okay, well I'm going to attack him. You definitely hit him. That definitely does not. The other one does not, but the, he is aware of your is presence a, now. The second one is a 12. It does not. 15 yeah. or higher. Okay. But I'm now further. I'm at the edge of is my he, range. Is he focused on ice, I'm assuming? Oh, now he's focused on ice. He's like, he's going scratched. He's like, Arr! Can can Nikolai take this turn and shout what he should have shouted last time? He's gonna shout at I said, "Run, you fool!" You hear um, somebody shouting, "Run!" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. As you wanna move away because he cannot uh, opportunity attack you at that range. Okay. Um. Sure. So let's. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, easily. He <laughs> took unsafe. Right. It's like it's like ran all over again. That doesn't matter. It really is. So uh, the the captain's turn. He jumps out of his own office because remember he didn't see him uh, just one turn ago or two turns ago. He disappeared, and now he runs out of his uh, comes out in the middle of the building. He's got 20 more feet of movement. Yeah, that's not enough. So he rushes by the his... Dark, the dark or not? No, they don't. Oh. Good Shit, yeah, they don't. They yeah, probably did. Some hit and he got knocked out. So he, he, he rushes by his... Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, morning is dawning, so there's more stuff to, you can at least make out a little bit. A little bit. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so he rushes by the uh, archer dude, he's like, flank him. And the archer's like, whoa, 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 oh, okay, and he just rushes back inside. Where we, he will meet Corvo in a moment. <laughs> and... You're gonna get a cuddle fest with Corvo. Yeah. <laughs> the one guy with the battle axe outside, he's swinging his axe towards the A guy, but he misses. Well, of course. And the others that were still outside, they are now rushing in after Corvo as well. The Cattle Brigade, or whatever you want to might call them. One of them catches Corvo off guard with a two-handed pike. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so Corvo's unconscious. No, right? not really. So, um... I don't really see that, but Corvo is about to rush through the door that Milo opened there a while ago. And while he's just almost jumping through the door, he gets slashed from behind with a pike uh, for 10 points of damage. And he skitters right in the arms of the other guard and just like, Ugh! stops there, almost falling onto the sword that is being presented to him. Corvo is out of options. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Corvo disengages and <laughs> keeps on running, not knowing that he runs into the captain. Arr, that's that's bad for Corvo. Milo, it's your turn. Okay, first off, how does this guard look? 
Alright, first off, let me uh, turn on global illumination while the... You know, it is getting dawn, so you can see a little bit more now. It is still considered dawn, so you uh, see more or less like no gray change. shadows. Yeah, for the... For the oh, 120 guys. feet dark vision. Feels good, man. Yeah, yeah and the others can now at least make out shadows. Dark vision, I can now see Nick. Yeah, people can now see people running around as shadows. Okay, Milo. So, how does this guard look right here? He looks damaged. He's like the broken jaw. But other than that, he's still capable of fighting. But not super damaged? No, he has a broken jaw. Okay, well, Milo's gonna take a couple of steps away from Ooh. this raging. Yeah, he's and not he's not lashing out towards yeah, you. Ice. He's not focused on me. No, so. he's going fully uh, for us. I'm gonna use my hand crossbow to actually shoot at the captain in front of Corvo. Okay, do it. Snake attack. That's exactly my plan. Yes. You hit him, so he gets seven, eight. That's it. Oh, sneak attack. Yeah. No, I, I did. A sneak you attack is eight. Yeah, okay. Uh, that, that was ignore. Uh, yeah, it's sneak attack critical. I just saw that. Like, oh, what the this hell is going super on? By now. The captain. Yeah. No, wh where are you? Oh, you you. <coughs> roll me perception out of character out of turn. Roll me perception. Sure. Because you put him on fire earlier. You know how he looked like earlier. Yeah, burned his oh, face. My goodness. Yeah. I'm gonna have healed and we'll be so pissed. So you're taking okay, that's, two that's face. That's pretty much what happened. Nope. You don't see his face because you see him from behind, and that's. <gasps> it's really hard to discern details. Well. That I'm point. Uh, well, that's it on my left turn, I think. Uh, you're not moving? Like, you he's gonna move a little bit farther <laughs> back. Okay, he's moving to Token. Ares needs a death throw. Yep, What's that's safe. Yep. Good. Definitely successful. Alright. Asgrin's kind of getting angry, and so he's gonna hit. He's gonna attack this. Battle Axe guy. Hits. And then I'm gonna use a key point to. My last one to get a couple more hits at him. Uh, misses? Hits. So you you deal a lot of blows to him, and he's like he's he's standing there, holding on to his axe. Like the he's still resolved to kill you, but you can see that he's almost out. Like if you just touch him, he might just fall over and be out. All right, then that's the end of his turn. That's fine. Uh, it looks like as if a train is rushing towards ice, even so he has never seen a train. <laughs> and he swings his great sword. Ooh, another display driver crash. On disadvantage, however, because he's still um, on that. Let's see. He's on disadvantage because he's raging? No, he's poisoned. No, he's not. He is. I thought he resisted the poison. Yeah, he he the unconsciousness. That was only to not knock him out. He still no, poisoned. No, no, you, 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 no. If he was, if he fit, oh. if he passed the constitution save, oh. doc, I thought he was just okay. No, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, if he failed the save, he would be poisoned. If he failed it by five or more, he then uh, is unconscious. Anyways, he rolled high enough early on to hit, so he still rolls high enough. Uh, yep. Twenty would be the disadvantage. Twenty-five, the regular. So, anyways. Um, he rolls a lot of 25s. The, uh, ice? Yeah, he's attacking ice, ice. for 8 Can and 9. Uh, Wait! 8 and 9 points, so that's 17 points of damage uh, uh, for ice. Now you um, may do your stuff. Can I react Why? to this? Um, I can reduce the damage with one of oh. my maneuvers. Yeah, you could. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'm going to have to remember how exactly this works. Well, you do it What's when it's your turn. You're not knocked out. What, me? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he kicks you for 17 points of damage, but you're not knocked out by that. Well, yeah, this is my reaction. 
So you could theoretically do it next oh, turn it as well. Uncanny dodge reaction? No, I think he I'm, talks about no, second not, wind or something. It's, it's parry. Oh, parry. Oh. Um, so I can reduce it by the, my superiority dice plus my dex mod. No. Do it. Yeah, but uh, uh, Nick was supposed to like shoot a thing. Yes, but he's rolling for stuff. You can shoot him once he has rolled. No, but it... he said his action dot was to give anyone yeah. who attacked dice disadvantage with covering fire. Oh, Although, disadvantage. He did roll a disadvantage roll. And yeah, still yeah, and yeah, he yeah, he yeah. still hit. That's fine if he hits, but I'm saying that uh, then uh, Nick did fireball at him. But yeah, it's fine if he hits. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm happy now. Yeah. I mean, you should have seen his second roll, 25 or 25. Oh. So I reduce it by 9 damage, so that's what? Still 8. eight just 8 now? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you get him a lot more angry now. Because he thought he could just knock you over. Okay. Yamir. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Hopefully. They came to rescue you. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep as much distance as possible because yeah. I am in no shape to fight. Disposable kid, time for us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna hold my attack. But, but I'm a good guy. Well, I'm a chaotic good guy. So Nicholas, wherever you are. Chaotic neutral. Nick, it's your turn. Yeah, he's gonna keep. Uh, Backing off and a shot. I said, just run, kid. He's gonna back off uh, so that he's more or less in rage. Okay. With the first ball again, reload it and prepare to shoot it. Uh, I distract again and slow the barbarian down, but he's not gonna. Okay. Try to slow him down. Token. Um. We just say if you move to the edge, you leave the battlefield. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's. We have to help Corvo, don't we? Um, oh, I know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> sleep! And he just puts the drop sleep too. Kinda. But there's nowhere I can do it where I'm not gonna kill Corvo with it. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 20 foot, but. 20 foot for Asgrin as well, and it hits the lowest HP first. You don't think the cat will be lower? That would be no. Asgrin. Asgrin is lower than the captain. Thanks, Doc, for that OOC information. I can but tell you that right now because I need to know who. Is wounded as fuck. Um, so it looks like I'll just have to do a good old fashioned let's hope Corvo can deal the damage, and I'll deal some right now. No, 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 no. You said, dude, you put him on sleep, so do it. I didn't say I was putting him on sleep. You said whoever gets you less. You possibly still could because it's just going to make Corvo go to sleep. It's not going to kill him, and you might still put the captain to sleep. Yeah, yeah. but then you want Corvo to put it and somewhere here. Right? That doesn't get Corvo out of the situation. And Doc, I never said I was actually using sleep. Well, in that case, Corvo instances. with three HP would be the lowest. Well, yeah, the next right. time, do not say the one with the lowest HP goes down first. Just roll it or That's don't roll it. literally what I said, Doc. I said was it affects the one with the lowest HP. Yes, and that for me, that, that means you're doing it. So next time, please do not say it. Okay, Julie, no, Think it, do not say it. Because I need to, con you know, I need to oversee this all, so... Just do your tech, whatever. A anyways. 14 fire damage to the captain. He's still alive. Yeah, that's okay. Did it look like it hurt him? It hurt him a lot, but he's still alive. Cool. So, uh, Ice. Uh, unless you want to move. <sighs> no, I'll stay. I'll stay. Hang on, I'm gonna murder the cat. Do that. Ice. Ice is running. You can double run if you want to. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let me roll already on disadvantage for his reaction. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, as I move already, uh, Nick loses another ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he misses uh, the reactionary. <laughs> That's fine. Ice is out. Uh, out safe. <sighs> Finally, the <sighs> captain has got enough of that. 
Escaping prisoner, being set on fire. He swings his sword at Corvo. Oh, that's just. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. I see. What, Chris Bale? And he impales himself? No, no. He, uh. First swing, he misses. And Corvo is just shouting to the rest of you just go! Forget about me! Ah! And then he gets impaled through the chest. And the sword, you know, comes out a foot or two on the other side of him. And the captain's just smiling, like... Done. Okay, anyways, where are the, uh... Ah, look at that. Wait, dead? Corvo is not no, dead. dead. He's... Thing. Yeah, wait, yeah, he's... Right, not dead dead, but, yeah. Bleeding out. I forget that you guys get your unconsciousness. Yeah, right? I'd rather Although kill you off. He is your character now, Doc, so yeah, he's an nice. NPC. I want to get rid of him. So for now, he's on the ground. Oh, the look at that! The, the the the, oh, the no, guild no, guard no, with the battle axe uh, damages Esgrin for five points of damage, slashing. He's holding on to his one pretty much last HP. He's like oh, swings his axe. And where are the others? Oh my god, is the captain gonna just like coup de grace horrible, decapitate him? Probably just put a Corporal's sword like through his heart. kneeling there holding <coughs> this gaping wound and captain just goes, shh! Like in, um, oh god, what's the film? Gladiator? No, oh, we just watched it. I don't uh, know, I didn't. I think that happens in Gladiator as well. Kingdom of Heaven, there's a bit in Kingdom of Heaven where they do that. Ooh, the guy that gets one. knocked to his knees and then he just takes his head off. Oh uh, god, yeah. Salah takes well, off. Well, if you want that, uh, the other two are jumping out oh, of the no. window. The other two are jumping out of the window, <laughs> see the guy on the ground. <laughs> the captain's just <laughs> holding his own, he's like, he's holding his wounds. And he's like, do it. And he's getting stabbed nah. by the guy with the sword. And the guy with the pike just did Capitates Corvo, just shh, blam. Yeah. No, it's fine. We, we, we knew he was Corvo's, Corvo's we head is just rolling away. Jip, 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 jip. Finally, then. Uh, nothing of That's value was lost. Death. That's our first PC death. Techni Ooh. the NPC. Technically, yeah, he is a NPC. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty gruesome. And the other yeah. guard that comes out swings at Esgrin misses. The dude with the crossbow has a short sword in his hand, so he's not doing anything. Kovo is dead. Milo. Milo is a little outraged with Captain killing, helping kill Corvo, so he's taking another shot at him. How do you want to do this? Oh yeah. I, I want. <laughs> Milo's going to be taking home. careful aim, and he wants the crossbow bolt because he's kind of turned away from him. To actually protrude from the front of his eye, like it's just going to go straight oh. through his head and protrude out of his eye. Oh, He's going to be looking at his guards, and all of a sudden, there's a bolt. Yeah. So while the captain is uh, looking to his guards and like nodding approval, suddenly the crossbow just sticking out of his eye, crossbow and he just he just like uh uh, and then he drops backwards and Can't roll is dead. You don't no longer have a functioning brain. <laughs> No, the guards. We'll see. Milo. <laughs> Milo is then <laughs> actually going to run over to the down elf over here. Who got two death safe and one fail. Two yeah, successes, I'm just running one fail. it for my next turn, but if he's going to help me out, then I don't know. Milo's okay. going to see if he can do something to help this elf get up. Like give him a potion? I don't have a potion, but I'm then gonna see if maybe is there like medicine, anything I medicine. Can you, would, you would stabilize him. You need a medical kit to stabilize him, don't you? And you need action. You, you can make a medicine yeah. check, and if you succeed, then you stabilize him. And well, we see next turn. Kit, <laughs> oh yeah, cause you, you use your action, yeah. Yeah. So Milo's just getting over to him right now. Okay, he rolled already. Safe, yeah. Esgrin. Esgrin's gonna actually just back away from these. So I disengage I or what? I don't think. Do I have disengage? I don't know. You tell me Everyone if you. Can. Disengage. You just can oh. use it as a bonus action. Then you can use it as your. If you have a key point, you can. Oh, oh no! I don't have, have a key okay. point. I'm out so of key points. As an action, then, if you want. Because otherwise, you get two battle axes. Uh, well, one pike, one battle axe swung at you. That's why I'm asking. How do you back up? 
I mean, he just kind of backs immediately up. I, if I can, I disengage, but I think... Uh, action. Yeah, yeah that's good action. action. Yeah. He just can't attack, man. Okay. And he's going to start running up towards uh, his brother. You should be able to make that for 40 feet. Yeah. You have 40 feet of movement? Fuck Monks, me. bitch. Wow. Monks yeah. move a lot. They have they uh, trained in running. Wow. That's and awesome. and so he's gonna like, stop right here. And if you were, armor. if you remembered Ren. Yeah, I know. I mean, you could take mobile feet and just jack it up to eleven, but come yeah. on now. <laughs> that's just silly. Yeah, oh shit! Here comes the raging dragon. So uh, Ice just ran off. He's like, Phew! runs off into the distance, and out of the corner of his eye, I wrote for his perception of the corner of his eye, Kiran the pusher sees something moving and he turns around he's gonna push him and because he <laughs> they are twins he's like how did he get up that fast and he just runs right uh at kirvan and uh, whatever his name is not kirvan what, what, what's the name again the, the a guy e guy whatever Esgrin, yeah Esgrin um, and, and while he's running at you he's already swinging his great sword like twice like, he's totally raging at you and misses. Oh wait, I haven't said that one yet. I have to roll for it first. <laughs> Fucking roll for it, you little shit. Oh yeah, shit! How could that happen? So he's like, Rah! he runs and he misses both attacks. Oh. Yes. yes! I'm sure he used all his good rolls earlier. <laughs> when I had him roll on disadvantage, he rolled better than now on. Fucking better. On non disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. So he's standing in front of you, breathing down, eyes aflame. Murder, murder in his eyes, like, gonna squash you. Okay. Yeah, Mia, you see this badass wood elf rushing towards those two people, one of them being Milo. I just stand there in awe. I'm not gonna do anything, because I can't do anything. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, you're unarmed. You could use your, your oh. action to take a potion. Yeah, I'll take a potion of token and pop it. Yeah, I'll take out a potion and uh, my. Just, just rages into your pocket. There was 1d4 plus con, right? Uh, no, I, I think there was so. 2d4. Let me just check that. Yeah, 2d4 plus, 2D4 plus 2. 2. Yeah, actually, yeah, 1d4 would be really shit, even for like starting class, so yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, that's really shit healing. That's wizard level healing. Oh, wow, he that gets 5. <laughs> oh man. You know, it could have been a really low level potion, for <laughs> all he knows. Poison potion that's the one that I me. got when I, went, when I got, uh, went through my trial, that one's been in there a while. <laughs> that's really you wanna do anything way. else, Yamiya? Move somewhere? I'm gonna move towards the corner. Okay. Run. So you basically run off? Well, to keep my distance away from everything that has a weapon. Okay, Nicholas, you wanna leave the battle scene as well? Yeah, he's gonna turn to ice and shot, so say, let go, let's go. Okay, so Nicholas is out. Yamir, you're out right, right? Yep. Yamir is out. Tokan! Sorry, uh, once again, another driver crash, so just give me a sec, sorry. Just tell me if you run or if you do anything. This, this fucking, fucking thing is breaking. Uh, I don't know, Milo's still there and I can't really abandon Milo. Milo um, can run, he can disengage and run. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm gonna run though. Not until Milo runs. This guy's gonna have to fight the elf no matter what. Unless the elf is gonna disengage, but the elf's probably not gonna leave his brother. Uh. Ooh, I could scare these fuckers. <laughs> Are there any guards that look particularly wounded, Doc, as I survey? No, uh, well, the only one that's particularly wounded is the guy that is still swinging forwards and backwards, uh, holding his battle axe. All other guards are pristine condition. Uh, of there is only two down here, more and two up at the window that are pristine yeah, yeah. condition. So, five guards, four good, one almost dead. Uh, well, I suppose I'll, I might as well finish off the guy who's almost yeah, dead. Yeah, sure. That would be this one. I'll try and intimidate even more now that they've lost their uh, captain. Just start killing them off. Uh, oh God. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna abandon Milo, but I will hit. Actually, no. Do you know what? I'll hit the ones who might pose a threat. So the one with the crossbow. Oh no, the crossbow left is. Yeah, the crossbow's left over there. He's got a short sword okay. in his hand. 
I managed to remove the range threat by giving him a sword. Yeah, yeah, by giving him his sword. Uh, I'll hit. Yeah, I'll hit the guy who's almost dead. I might as well. Uh huh. Nope. Misses. Whiffed it. He's a chew. Uh, Next to him, he looks at you. <laughs> he looks in the direction of where the fire came. He sees like some shadows moving. Oh well. Oh well. I guess I'll move right to the. Okay, edge. You, you still I'm stay, but I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta wait for Milo. I'm not leaving. Anymore. Eyes, you're running out. You're running away. You're off. Ren? Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna take the advice of Nicholas and I'm just gonna book it. Okay, with that, Ice is off the field. It. I'm gonna book it with Nicholas. Oh, the captain is. Oh, finally we're clearing <laughs> off a couple of the things here on the on the table. Um, the guards, they're moving up cautiously, watching the big, um, the big champion there doing the fighting, and even so, the captain is down. They're like, they know this. They seem to know this wood elf barbarian. They're like, they cheer him on. They're like, yay, Kuban has arrived. Push him hard! Throw him around! And all the cheering is going on from them, so they're not going to do anything. They're, they're, they're wiser than interceding with whatever the pusher wants to do. Milo. Milo looks at uh, the dark, el dark elf right next to him and just says, Sorry, and he disengages. Paid hirelings! Paid hirelings! You run off the map? Yeah. Milo's gone. Esquin will remember that. Esquin is yeah, unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> Esquin will remember that. A, 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 little, will too. a little a little thing pops up and up here and <laughs> in the top left of your screen. <laughs> With a little exclamation <laughs> yeah. mark saying Asgrin will remember that. Uh, okay, um the other Esquin, the A guy. Asgrin's decided that there's no use, so he's just gonna attack the Crazy wood elf in front of him. He was breathing um, down almost he, fire. <laughs> he pulls out another dagger that he has and has it coated with his last thing of draw poison. Uh -huh. And makes an attack at him with it. Do it. Oh God, see if you get this. You fail. No. Nope. Although that means you don't lose the poison. Um, but because I did make an attack with a, mar a monk weapon, I can do an unarmed attack at him as my bonus. <sighs> <sighs> oh, what, what is that one? Takes three the, damage. His, un his unarmed attack he gets to take as a bonus for using Oh, uh, okay. Knife. Yeah, that's fine. You just kick him in the shin. He's like, ah, kick you, kick you! And he's like, really? I'm gonna oh, have yeah. your head. <laughs> Didn't you already roll three saves earlier? No, I rolled one. No, this is my yeah. third set roll. Ah. That's his third roll, and it's only okay. a second save. Thought you already had two uh, successes, anyways. No, well, I could get up two. right now if you like. Uh, it's up to you, mate. <laughs> um, do I have one HP? <laughs> just, just so the barbarian can crush you. Your, 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 right. your thing has passed, so you should have. Is that thirteen? Is not. It's not higher than. Oh well. It would have higher than before. That's the first half. Do you want to be breathing again? Do you want me to see you, you coming to consciousness? To run, run. Yeah, it's fine. Just keep okay, going. Okay, so he... Uh, let's say He swings his sword. At Esgrin. He's still raging. He promised he's gonna get your head. And he hits you on the first one for... He hits on a 17, taking 9 points of damage. And Asgrin's down. And then he hits on a 25. Which would, would naturally be a natural thingy, and he hits you again for 14. Which means you lose two death saves, right? Yep. Is yeah. it two? Yeah, you're automatically it's your minus automatic two. Crit. Automatic crit, yep. So two. The, 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 uh, the guards are like, yay! They start cheering him on even more. Tokan? They're gonna still on the map. <laughs> you saw everyone else run off. Yeah, it's it's only the guild guards. Ah, the guild guards. Sorry. The Go fire at the one guy who's injured. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm 
26. Oh, you definitely hear them. 11. And amongst he all the shearing and stuff that goes on, you blast his head off. He's like, BOOF! The corpse falls to the ground, headless. Rip. Rip, yeah. Do you need to play out how the rest goes? Uh, sneak around, can he like see what's still going on? Or is that like way too far now? Are the girls go the trial going to be captured or just murdered right there? <sighs> By the raging barbarian? I don't think he takes any prisoners. Okay. And you probably don't want to try another prisoner escape to stick yet. So I yeah. think you replaced the captain. Yeah, he's like he's. The, I mean, he's a well-known champion of Lady Juliet. So um, he is well known. He's well but known. No one's oh, ever yeah. told, uh, said anything about him. Okay. We have a task, so because people have been telling you not to ask questions. Yeah, true. Well, on the bright side, the important people got out. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> almost. <laughs> so you guys are over there we somewhere. We immediately head for. Yeah. Where do you head? I'm, I'm the gate. Can. Ooh, can we get out though? Do a boat on they would the all be at the. They would all be at. We would head immediately for the gate to get out. You could, yeah, sure. The gate. Well, it's it's early in the morning, and they open it, don't they? The, the it is still closed, but the guards are not more. there. I mean, all this commotion yeah. has drawn a few yeah, guards. True. They would have run this way. So if you, I don't know, yeah, we, reconvene. We almost just run straight to the. Road, I would think. Well, we probably go up and how, round. How like many of us up. got out? How many of us? Just three. What do you mean three? Is it just me, Tokan, and Ymir that got out? Oh, and Nick yeah, and Ice—they the, 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 ran off as well. Got out as well, but uh, well, we're but they went to find a different direction. Yeah. Yeah, they went Milo down south. Just, Milo's just going to look at Tokan and say, um, "Let's go grab our horses and get out." So can we just go to the Frowning Goat and grab them? Oh, you got two horses there. Yeah, right. Yeah. You could yeah, get there. Can, actually, yeah. I'll take Milo on the horse that on this cheek. Yes. Yeah. So while you're running towards the um, frowning goat, you see that there's already light on inside the building. Uh, you run around to the stable and you see Rita. Yeah, that's her name. She already has your um, horses saddled, and she just looks at, at all of you. I figured it would be you. Run. Milo just walks up to her, grabs her hand, and says. Thank you, and gives her fourteen gold. <laughs> says, Thank you, dear. Gold. <laughs> Thank you, dear. The the Why Saint Hillshire room will be there. The God took my money. But you need to run now. If they just run, and with that she goes back into the inn. Neck. Yeah, took on on the other horse and nod. Nod uh, to uh, the to payment was. Uh, I don't know what the payment was. Like a hundred or something, or fifty. What did you agree? And you paid afterwards, right? Yeah, we have oh, got... He's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I still yeah, have the Nick gold. Is you gave me yeah, the half. I gave, I gave you, yeah, yeah, I gave you yours. I, I've deducted everything. I, okay. Everything we paid up front, I took away straight away mm -hmm. from my inventory. Everything else, I still have on me. Um, <laughs> how much? How much did you pay me? I'd like to know. Uh, we were. I think he told you twenty, four. ten, half. No, it was, it was forty gold, and then yes, I, I gave uh, him so twenty. Me, uh, mm. I'm gonna say that after Nick ran off, he headed this way. And uh, he he like got into the uh, side of the uh, exit from the town. Uh huh. And are there still guards? Uh, guards no, no, there are no guards at the at the gate currently. The gate is abandoned. They all have run over to the barracks. So yeah, he's gonna move to the gate and make sure it's closed, and then he's gonna like hide in the tower or something. And oh, yeah, I see what he's doing. Gate. Okay, so the rest of you, the rest of you on horses, right? Yep. Yep. Two horses, three people. Yeah, Milo's. Yeah, Milo's Milo small Mira enough. One. So you yeah, get. Yeah, I one, Milo by his other. neck and had him in front of me. You're running over to the to the gate. Uh, oh, yeah, then, well, before they get to the gate, he's gonna show himself and point them with the crossbow and shout, "Hey there!" <laughs> uh huh. So uh, you see Nick stepping out of the shadows, Milo's crossbow on you. Hey there. <laughs> Inquisitively? Yes, that word. Does Nick actually have ice with me? Yeah, I think ice would be with you. He ran off with you. Yeah, that's not yeah. That's good, buddy, it's quite fast. I'm not gonna say anything. Just give the gold and you can leave. 
Just be the man, don't come. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just trying to <laughs> <laughs> 75 to make up uh, You owe him 75. And, and then I think it's 10, to, like you said, 10 earlier. So 85 off of 4. Hang on, let me do the count. 419 yes 85 334 there you go yeah I'll toss the the coin nod to them right and uh, Nick do you open the doors yeah he's uh, he's not way up wait the coin bag and check that there's actually gold there and <laughs> my cover and uh, if that's okay he's just gonna open the door and then he's gonna leave Without saying anything. Okay, so doors open, you run out into the early morning hours. Sun just coming over the horizon. And you're pushing your horses hard, right? Yeah, full speed. Full speed, so you make a uh, really, really, really speedy way over there to Waterfield. Like, less than an hour, you almost get to Waterfield. I don't have any of my money, do I? The guys took it all? You did not recover any of your equipment. Okay, so I'm a broke. I'm broke as fuck. You're broke as fuck. You've got nothing on you besides your traveling clothes, your normal clothing. So just my sleeveless hood and my pants. Yeah, basically. And uh, a sword. Oh no, wait, you did not. No, I gave it to a guy with a crossbow. <laughs> yeah, to take away the range threat. Basically. Mm-hmm. Work, just it. Uh, so while approaching Waterfield, uh, sun is already up enough, uh, gates are open, there's still the heavy presence of soldiers that are guarding the, the entire village. I want you all to roll me, uh, those who are riding actually, actively riding, roll me animal handling. <laughs> I presume you're, me, you're riding with... Uh, I have Milo. Milo. Of me, so. Oh, so do I not need No, to no, you're not, you're not holding the reins. Oh, okay. oh, oh gosh. Poor Tokan. Oh, Tokan. So you're rushing towards the gates and suddenly Tokan's horse is like... Putting in the, the emergency brake, it just almost stops. Uh, totally stops, almost throws him off. And yeah, Mia, you don't notice anything, you just keep on riding towards the open gates. And the guards are like shouting like, STOP! HOLD! HOLD! And yeah, Mia, you're riding through the gate. Okay. Anything from Tokan? No, I'll just follow them. Like, I'll just... Oh, burn my sorry. Horse again. I don't know what else to do. Uh, horses cease to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jumpstart your horse. Try, try, um... Uh, no, you know what? Don't try it. Uh, the moment the guards just like run after Yamir, the horse decides to jump start again. <laughs> it just like keeps on, keeps on dashing forward again. <laughs> You'll have to take a look under the hood to see why you stopped earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, no one. There. Yeah, so you get to Grandma Murphy, who's already expecting you. Uh, yeah, you, you give you give a quite nice chase through the town and whatnot, but your horses are no match. Uh, I mean, guards on foot are no match for the horses. So you arrive there mere, let's say a minute or so before the guards would catch up with you. I'm not gonna load up the map for that. Oh, why not? Doors already open. Nina is sitting there, standing there, looking at the horses wide-eyed, like, oh, they are nice. They're so tall. <laughs> the horse has stopped walking. No time. Gods are coming. We need tree now. Tree? Tree trouble. What kind of fun? What? Druids, we need a tree right now. This instance. I mean, yeah, Yamir was there when um, Rothgar and uh, Eno took off Rothgar through the tree. Eno yeah. Left. He, he, you don't know anything about Feldrill and the others. I saw a glimpse of it through the window that, yeah. Didn't see the full process, only a glimpse. Well, and then me and Tokan obviously saw it when Feldrill and Og left. Or no, Tokan would have had one of Yeah, you wouldn't have. You Anyways. were fucking arrested. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it from your Anyways. prison cell. All the way in Eastwood or in Waterfield? Doesn't matter. So you are there at the house. Uh, you rush into the house. 
you park the horses outside without bothering about them. Okay. Okay. And uh, Grandma Murphy's already standing outside at the tree. The tree that has seen a lot of views lately. Grandma Murphy, uh, this is not too much trouble. We would like to, let's say, get the heck out of here. Please well, insert a gold coin here. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Yeah, Mia? What I did was you bored up the place. Got her coming. Oh, she's not worried about that. She's like, don't worry about me, dear. I'll be fine. And uh, she touches the tree and the portal opens. You have no clue where she's sending you, but the portal opens. Milo looks at her. Is this sending us to the guild? I just Maybe walked to walk where you the portal and I dragged Milo with me. It goes where Feldwell and Ark went, yes. Can we bring the horses? Yeah, why not? You left the horses outside, you rushed through the house without the horses. But they have six seconds Behind to get house. through that portal once it opens. And it's open, and uh, you should really hurry now, yeah. Crap. Six seconds. Milo just jumps bloop, over. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> nice uh, sound effects. So what? I grab Milo and drag yep. him through the portal. Ice doesn't. Ice and uh, what's his yeah, name? Nick. They stayed behind. Murphy and says we'll be back. I know, dear. You will. And then with that, okay. you just step through and pfft, the thing How closes behind you. Again? <laughs> Whatever. Not like more like a slurpee. <laughs> oh no, you're in limbo. No, let me let me show you where Arct and Feld will have gotten I will not in. Be a dead boat. In the meantime, so you're somewhere up there, Coast of Storms, it's not even on the map yet. Um, you step through the portal, come out uh, near a small village. Uh, you can oh smell God, you can smell there. the sea. The sun is, is uh, maybe a little bit higher than before. And everything seems to be normal for you. The psh, portal behind you closes down. And with that we go to Ark and Feldril. Who are on the seafaring ship heading for the Isle of Man? Oh, Feld, what are you doing? Looking on the deck, playing a flute, taking care of swords. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll Got like fuck to all. See, though, he's gonna stay in his, in his cabin, taking care of his gear and stuff. Okay. So, tape, maybe. Oct is at the cabin, and um, the navigator comes to you, Felder, and he's like. Oh, looks like you're lucky. The wind picked up just a few hours ago. We'll be there in uh, about a day and a half. That's good. There's no time to lose. So that is... So wait, wait, wait. Half Any fair day? piracy or some bullshit stopping us? Next day, noon time. Um, oh, don't worry. We haven't seen pirates here in years. Excellent. Let's just make haste then. Good. He leaves you alone to your flute playing, with uh, which entertains the people. <laughs> and that's it for today. That's it? That's it for oh, today, what? yeah. I mean, I guess we could say that the rest of you goes to perhaps get a boat, or... Um... Yeah, I mean, I well, figured yeah, we, we to would to the guild. find some sort of way to get to the guild. Yeah, so you've been told that at noon time the next ship is leaving heading towards the Isle of Man. It's about three days of travel. And Doc, is this village guild controlled? But no, it's not guild controlled. Okay, it's controlled by a lot of humans and stuff. The guild does not control everything. I'm sorry. Uh, Where the fuck's that spider been, by the way, this whole time? Dead. Oh, yeah, um, I forgot to inform you. <laughs> While, uh, you now have a bit of time, yeah, you... Yeah, Mir, your spider was killed when they captured you. Yeah, I figured. No, you rolled for oh. that. You know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> he did. Could we on. just skip ahead through the travel then and say that Ogden and I arrive? Yeah, we would do that next not... week because there I have we not still prepared that. Good amount of time, right? I haven't still prepared it. Yeah, we need to prep the guild stuff and all that. I haven't prepped it, so yeah. you should Probably. not want okay. to do that today. Fine. It HP. beats. It beats people oh. having to listen to you. And not really do anything. Um, XP, yeah. Mm. I need to calculate them. Give me a moment or two.